Finding a job here in Finland can be quite a challenge. But for today I've prepared you 10 tips that can improve your chances of landing a job here in Finland. Let's go check them right now. What up Fintastics, how are you doing? If you're here for the first time, my name is Alex and I create fantastic videos about Finnish culture, lifestyle and language. So if you're even slightly into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button because you will join our Fintastic squad and you'll get more awesome Finnish videos in the future. Number one, networking. Did you know that most positions get actually filled before they get even posted publicly? That's right. And that is the reason why it's very, very important to start networking in Finland. Things like word of mouth, networks, acquaintances are very valuable. And what you can do is start talking to them. Actually, start talking to Finnish people. Your, your neighbors, your friends, your local business owners, going to events and networking there. Very useful, very, very useful. Because you know, Finland is a very small country and practically everyone knows everyone here. Well, not quite, but still. We have only 5.5 million people. So getting those business contacts and networks is very important. And you can, for example, look on business events here in Finland, for example, on Facebook and meetup.com. Go do that. Number two, get really skilled at your craft. Let's think about this from the employer's perspective. They have a job opening, there's numbers of people applying, but why should they pick you among the other applicants, which among also Finnish people who might be applying for the same job? So you need to get really good at whatever your skills are. Luckily, there are a number of careers and positions and jobs where you can improve your skills on your own. This could be like software engineering or graphic designer or maybe even photographer or videographer. So you have to get really skilled and you have to also show the employer, employer, you have to show the employer that you have actually these concrete skills that can benefit the company. That's all about the getting and landing those jobs. This kind of approach doesn't apply to all jobs, but keep this in mind when you're applying to those jobs. Why they should pick you? Why should I pick you? Number three, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is this like professional social media platform where people usually get in touch and share professional related content. LinkedIn is very, very much used in Finland. So if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, I strongly advise you to create one. LinkedIn is not only good for networking, but there you can also find job listings on LinkedIn. And you can, for example, search jobs in Helsinki. And as you can see, quite many of just these jobs, uh, job applications are posted in English, which means that usually the, the job is carried out in English as well. You can find a lot of videos on tutorials how to improve your LinkedIn profile if you, have, if you need to update it and improve it a little bit. So just go on YouTube and find like LinkedIn tutorials. You should be good to go with those. By the way, if you find these tips useful, don't forget to hit that like button. Number four, get a degree here. Okay, and this is maybe not optional for everyone, but if you have a chance to study a degree in Finland and you're determined that you want to come to Finland, live here, maybe for the rest of your life and stuff, consider doing a degree here. There are lots of universities of applied sciences and universities which offer degrees completely in English. And not only have chance to get the degree, but also get understanding of the Finnish people, culture, language, working culture. And these are all important if you want to plan a life or getting a job here in Finland. And I used to be a tutor for international engineering students at Tampere University of Technology and most of them have actually got a job here either in Tampere or Helsinki area so it's definitely possible but I have also have to mention that if you are coming from an engineering field or ICT field you have very very good chances to find a job here for that kind of people because the ICT field keeps getting bigger and people want coders and developers so if you have a skill or background in that kind of stuff you have a good chance. And also if you do a degree here, there's also a special residence permit for job applications. So if you get a job here, you can get a one year extension for your residence permit for job hunting. That's also good to keep in mind in terms of staying and living in Finland. Finnish universities have no tuition fees for European and EEA people. But if you come outside of Europe, many of the schools offer also tuition waivers and scholarships. And what I've heard, it's actually quite easy to get one of those, for example, here at Tampere University of Technology. But I strongly recommend you to go check those out and see whether that might be possible for you as well. 
if you can't afford to get a degree here, consider just doing an exchange period. I mean, the Finnish universities have a lot of partner universities and they might be also partnered with your university. So doing one or two semesters here can also give, improve your chances. Number five, startups. The startup culture and st startup business is still booming here in Finland. There's new startups coming left and right and center. And usually the startups aim for international success, which means usually that they want to hire also internationals and many of the startups also operate in English. That's naturally because if they want to, for example, appeal to international investors, they have to do stuff in English. I'll link you one link here, thehub.fi, and they usually post Finnish jobs related to startups and they're pretty much all in English. So you want to check them out if there's anything that could interest you. Number six, learn Finnish. I mean, this is probably the most, the biggest obstacle that people have when it comes down to finding a job because most of the jobs here require Finnish and Finnish is not an easy language to learn so it's definitely a challenge. There's like a handful of jobs which are done in English and those were the ones which I just mentioned which I mentioned earlier software engineers graphic designers and stuff but unfortunately big number of jobs are in Finnish. What I've noticed and what I've observed is that very low skilled jobs like cleaners newspaper distributors and stuff and very high skilled jobs software engineers project managers and stuff these ones can be actually done without any finish but if you want to aim to the middle then it usually needs or requires finish and i mean i'm not sure if this is completely true but this is what i've noticed i've heard other people saying the same and that's how it is. If, do you agree or disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Don't give up just yet because there are many people before you who have learned the Finnish and who are working in Finnish. And I know, for example, Rao from Mexico, who's also been on this channel. Totta kai, että erityisesti se, että suomalaiset arvostaa tosi paljon, kun no niin, varmasti, puhuu joo. suomea. Kyllä. Niin sekin, niin kuin, että se, se, sekin avaa jo tosi paljon, paljon ovia. I know that he has a job where he is working in Finnish and his Finnish is pretty much fluent. So people before you have done it. So it means that you can also do it. And for example, you can take my free spoken Finnish course. I'll put the link in the description and in the cards. You can check it out after this video. Number seven, study the labor market. This is more like an advanced tip, but it might help you if you figure out and study which professions and which fields are looking for workers and which fields are more saturated. And for example, what you can use is there's a tool called Ammattibarometri. It's like a profession barometer or something like this. Occupational barometer, yeah, that's the thing. Barometer is the view of, of the T offices uh, about the developments prospects in the key occupations in the near future. They have just uploaded and republished the newest information. And this barometer is also in English, so you can check it out yourself. And for example, if I open the whole Finland, we can see that the most top 15 demand jobs, there's for example, audiology, and speed therapists, construction supervisors, civil engineers, nursing associate professionals, dentists, welder and flame cutters and so on. So this might help you or give you an overall impression what kind of jobs are in demand in Finland. And you can, for example, also look regionally, like if we take Helsinki or Uusima. And if we look at the top 15 demand, we have early childhood educators, audiologists, civil engineers, house builders, construction supervisors, kind of the same stuff here. And we can also see the bottom demand, or like the, which are like saturated. There's printers, pre-press technicians, bank tellers, journalists, these kind of things. So you can go check out this barometer yourself and see, kind of study it yourself and see what kind of stuff is in demand and which is saturated. Number eight, contact the business directly. Like I said in the beginning, most of the jobs get filled before even posted publicly. So what you can do is just call or reach out the companies yourself directly, introduce yourself and ask if there's any opening positions. Because I know Finnish people, both Finns and internationals have done this and got jobs. And I mean, that means that you can also success with this trick as well. And even if they don't have any possible opportunities at the time when you're calling there, you can just tell them, okay, take my contact information now or maybe ask the LinkedIn con connection and maybe there will be a opportunity later on in the future. Number nine, consider starting your own business in Finland. Competing in the Finnish labor market can be a quite challenge, but if you have some good skills which you could monetize and make money, consider starting your own business. And actually it's quite interesting if you want to start a business here in Finland, it doesn't depend 
on your citizenship but your permanent residence country. And anyone who has a permanent residence in EEA country, which is European Economic Area, if I'm not completely mistaken, can start a business in Finland. But of course, that <laughs> still if you want to live in Finland, you might need a residence permit, visa, whatever, so it still doesn't really solve the problem, but all you need basically to technically to start a business. And of course, like doing business is not so easy. You need like business plan and funding and, you know, a, compl a working idea that could make you some money. But for example, I started a business for this YouTube channel in the summer and this is actually quite easy way to start because I have no costs. I mean, if sometimes if I buy some new equipment and stuff, but I mean, YouTube is free and uploading, creating videos is free, there's no costs. You maybe want to check out some digital opportunities, like this, this kind of digital entrepreneur opportunities, if you want to go that way. Number 10, and this is the last tip, consider doing internship or voluntary work. I'm in part of many of these uh, international Facebook groups and every once in a while I see that there's someone going to come to Finland and do a, like an internship. So you can do the same, depending on your field, but still. If you want to check out some possible internships, there's for example again on LinkedIn and there's also a place called The Hub, oh, that was the startup thing, and also Glassdoor.com and this place you can actually filter English speaking positions and also on their level, like you can put like internship level, entry level and so on. So you might find something inter interesting there for you. And bonus tip for you at the end, don't give up. I mean, Finland is a really challenging place and country to find a job and start a career, but there are people who have done that before you. So it's definitely not impossible to do, but still quite a challenge, but don't give up. Just keep pushing, keep, keep networking, keep looking for opportunities. And who knows, maybe your next job opportunity in Finland might be just around the next corner. And check out this video where I share tips about Finnish work and business culture. You might find also useful. See you in the next video. So much.